all right guys welcome back to the channel today's video look at this 146 a.m uh let's go over again the soup du jour which means the soup of the day um in french you could say como allez-vous aujourd'hui or you can say bonjour como allez-vous aujourd'hui aujourd today how are you today uh or como se va Anyway, there's your French lesson for the day. And you can say a bientôt, which means see you later. Uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, let's talk about this mining stuff. I was doing a video earlier and the damn thing wasn't recording. All this great knowledge, stream of conscious, was just wasted. Like tears and rain. What, what movie is that from? All right, if you know what movie that from, good for you. It's a cool movie. Uh, anyway, let's go on. So right now, look at this, four or five days in on the old crypto. I turned off the rigs today because I was not in the house. And again, I am paranoid. CPUs running full time, mining. And with the GPUs, I did have some arcing and some burnt little connectors, which, which I'm, freaked me out because you'll burn your house down, right? So I shut the rigs down for half the day today. Came back. So we've been doing this four and a half days now, maybe 60, 62 bucks almost now as we speak. Not too shabby again. It's just in Bitcoin, so it does fluctuate with the price of the bit, the coin. And uh, what do we got here? Oh, I don't know what the hell any of this stuff is. Ooh, I'm at 990 estimated per day. Can you see that? I'm just recording my screen. Who cares? Uh, oh, here we go. 990. Active rig six. Ooh. Here's one rig. Oh, see, again, thanks to the guy for posting and kicking my ass about add more memory. Add, make sure there's two sticks. On a CPU rig, well, I'm just a stupid fool. It's almost I knew that, but I'm just lazy or didn't cross my mind to go, hey, you have old rigs upstairs sitting and gathering dust that are GPU rigs. Strip the freaking memory off the DDR4 and put it in the boards that need it. It was right in front of my face. Again, thanks, man. I owe you. You're great. Awesome. Keep the advice coming. That's why the community is so cool. The goal is to help each other, not to scam each other, not to uh, crabs in a bucket, bring other people down. It's just like, hey, how can I help you? knowledge is knowledge is king man you know something you help me i know stuff you i help you and it's just everyone does better it's so simple but everyone human nature comes in and people get all pissy and jealous and all that crap but i i have no time for that anyway that did help so now if you look adding more memory each rig has two memory ddr4 sticks in it uh, most of these, oh, I think all these are Ryzen 9 3900 except for one is a 3950. <clears throat> so six is running at 12.81. Uh, these would be lower, you know, the ones with one stick obviously were at seven and eight, half, you know, maybe, uh, yeah, eight, maybe, yeah, eight, six to eight. Now they're at uh, 11 to 13. Uh, 12.7, 12.72, 11.79, 14, 14.18, talk about it in a sec. And then last one is 12.12. Rocco Taco, Rocco's the dog, Taco because it's stupid and it rhymes like Rocco, and 12 is the number of the rig. That is a 39.50, and that little bastard is at 14.18. It was horribly, it was doing horrible with just one memory stick, a 1 DDR4 in that puppy. It was doing like 7 mega hash per second. I had that second stick, oh my god, it just boom, 14.18. But you can see that is a great performance. Things are looking great. The hash rate is probably dropping because everyone's following, which is fear of missing out. People are you know, turning on their rigs. And yeah, it's dropping right here. It hovers about 10 bucks a day now. But people are turning on rigs. Oh my God, I can see people. Uh, again, all of my stuff I've had for the past two years from uh, the old GT, uh, GTE, GP, GPU mining. I set up some rigs as well as for CPU mining. So nothing is out of pocket. And then the rig, like I said, the extra rig I did have, which is an AMD 5 with, um, I just, my, my daughter wanted to play Roblox. And I, that was, I didn't have a computer. So I said, screw it. I, have, I just realized, my, again, I looked around. I have these motherboards just sitting there collecting dust. Well, I think within half an hour, I had memory added to it. I had a GPU on it, had the power supply all connected. Uh, what else did I have to do? Uh, oh, yes, the, the SATA drive was already on, Windows 10. Just hook it up to the big TV upstairs in, her, in the room, and then uh, HDMI cable, Blammo came up, set up her account, downloaded all the drivers for the, for the um, what the hell is it? 
<clears throat> the 6600 Sapphire, and that, that took the longest to download those damn things and let them install. But bam, I just repurposed something without spending any freaking cash. I didn't have to go buy memory. I didn't have to go buy displays, hardware, you know, power supplies, CPUs. It's all here. I'm repurposing it or putting it back to life. And once this little rush is done, which is going to end probably, is I'll just probably maybe hold on to these things. Because when you do sell on eBay, you'll either get scammed, and eBay does not protect the seller at all. You're going to lose your money. There's someone's going to go, oh, I never got it, and, or it's broken. Oh, I don't know how to turn that on. And it's like, God, oh, give me a break. Uh, so nine times, not nine, let's say 20% of the time you get scammed. Uh, and uh, what's worth, then you get scammed by eBay because they'll take 14%. And you're like, Jesus, man, I, I walk away with pennies. It's ridiculous. But uh, you can let it sit in your closet, gathering dust, too. You know, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Did you want to get 60? Sure. But eBay is going to bone you up the pooper hole and take the rest of it. That's just the way it goes. All right, what else is going to eight? We're at $8.09 a day. So I was thinking, I saw my little stupid name on here. Um, where is it at? Oh, my God, dude. Jim Mining. I laughed at that because uh, I, th I thought I should go buy Bitcoin Jim. And um, just like that fool, that Bitcoin Ben guy was on that other, what the hell was it? He had a YouTube <coughs> channel with all those kind of shady guys on there. It's like they were selling used cars or they just got out of prison and they're on there talking Bitcoin. Oh, yeah, look what's happening. And blah, blah. I remember it just seemed, it, you can go by your spidey sense. Go by your gut feeling that something's not right with these characters. And obviously, they kicked him off the company or whatever it is. And then that Bitcoin band went to the other guy's owner's house and showed up in a cop's game or something stupid. It's just like, who are these people? It's all like a, it's all a grift. And then even um, that Jack Pas Peso, Pasovich guy, Paso, he's now on Twitter a lot. He's a political correspondent or whatever he is, he's a former Navy guy. He had his little Bitcoin show trying to make it a podcast. His wife would pop in. And his two brothers, and it was cute for a bit, but they're pushing Bitcoin to the moon. It was just all bullshit. And they were, I see what they're doing. They're hyping it up. And, but uh, they fizzled out, you know, because crypto, crypto, Bitcoin went from, oh, 60 something down to 28. And of course, they disappear. And I guess the whole point of my videos is I just want to show the facts. Here's what I'm making. Treat it as a hobby. You're not going to really make life changing wealth. Because if you look at some of the dudes, not knocking anyone else, but let's just say, some other content out there on all platforms. These guys are still, they're not making, what do they call it, Lambo money. They're not making retirement money. They're, they're probably losing money with electricity costs. All the hardware they're buying, solar or whatever, uh, cables, um, GPU, CPU, they're probably losing money and uh, heating and air conditioning for their house if they're going inside the house or whatever, or even construction of an external facility. You're paying money, it's not free. And to recoup your costs, it's not going to take months. It's going to take probably years, if anything. And bottom line, you probably lost it all. So that's why you treat it as a hobby. Because a hobby is something you enjoy, uh, like skiing. You don't get money from skiing. You go spend money at the slopes, the ticket, the equipment, to get there. And it's a loss. It's a hobby. And that's what crypto is. Treat it as a hobby. If you make 10 bucks, whatever, it's kind of cool to watch it go up. It's like, oh, hey, look at a 61. But in reality, if I were to remove that right now, I'd have to pay a Bitcoin transfer fee. Okay, there, now it drops. You know, then I move it into my wallet. It's just they're going up and down with the fluctuations of Bitcoin. And then when I actually say I want to go um, either buy something else, which I would never buy anything other than Bitcoin or get Bitcoin, nothing else matters. Bitcoin is king. Is then if you go to put it in a fiat, get some USD, boom, guess what? Capital gain tax, blammo. So now we're down, all right, 61, and that transfer fee, we're down to 50, let's just say 57 uh, bucks. Now after taxes, okay, now maybe we're down to, you take 30% of that thing. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going off my butt. Uh, 10, uh, you're down to, so 58, I don't know. Let's say down to 40, 45 bucks. I don't know. It depends on if it's short-term or long-term gains. So now maybe you're down to 45 bucks. All right, maybe 40. That'd be realistic because taxes get you, man. Government wants your money and they don't want you to be happy. Um, so they, you make 40 bucks out of 62 bucks. All right, it's almost like eBay taking all your money when you sell some. So again, it's not life-changing money. It's just for fun. Uh, this is cool. The apps are nice. And nice house is easy. Sure, you can use Zerg Pool. I went through all that stuff uh, two years ago, mining the most profitable coin, all that crap. And it was a lot of labor-intensive. I'm going, Jesus, 
if I were to charge what I, you know, you charge 180 bucks an hour as a contractor in most fields as an engineer. If I were charging that for the time to put it in this, I'd be making 300, you know, what, 100, 200, uh, da, 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 250, 250K a year. Um, and with benefits. And I'm wasting time doing this, but it is a learning experience. It's fun, it's a hobby. But with nice hash, it's just plug and play, boom, easy button, you're done. You don't need to be chasing after those little stupid coins and hope to get paid in Bitcoin. And yeah, it's, um, yeah, you can do it for fun. Do it. Go ahead. If it's a hobby, knock yourself out. But I'm looking at the easiest way to uh, make, uh, make money, not make money, but easiest way just to do this because it is getting hot in the one room where I have these CPUs. I'm like, ah, shoot, shit. I'll say it. Shit. Here we go again. Hot room. How do I keep this cool? It's just a pain in the ass. It's like, Maybe I'll let it go to the hash rate drops and it's like maybe down to five bucks. And I'm, I'm done. It's not worth it. You know, juice is not worth the squeeze. The um, power bill is going to come in and negate. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Yeah. Take out of that 45 bucks left over. Take out your damn power bill that yeah, that uh, you had to use the power usage to run those damn little CPUs to just to get to 6185. In the end of the day, you see what's happening. You, you're almost left with nothing. It's just stupid. But it's fun. I'm just being realistic. That's all. I don't want to be one of these Bitcoin ban or these other channels. It's going to the moon. It's coming back. Fear of missing out. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, whatever. Um, if you really want to buy Bitcoin, that's fine. My advice is, like everyone, <clears throat> don't invest more than you're willing to lose. Make it a small, small, small percentage of your portfolio. Not even five. I'd say 5%. You know, if you have like um, 100,000 bucks in your wealth, or your investment, I don't put more than 5K in the fucking crypto. I mean, I want to do it. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, based no more than percentage wise. I mean, every dollar figure changes. Uh, it's gambling, and I think again, long term, if you have a lot of, if you have a lot of runway left in your life, you know, unless you get run over by a bus, is uh, the smart investment. Here it is. You guys ready? I probably said it a hundred times. S and P 500 index fund, no cost, no fee. Dollar cost average in every paycheck, automatic investments, automatic payments, uh, 150 bucks, whatever, automatic uh, withdrawals into your index 500 fund. Dollar cost average, take the dividends, reinvest those dividends. Yeah, reinvest those dividends over time. Lengthen, uh, lengthen the market. Time in the market is going to be your winner with compounding on those reinvested dividends along with the dollar cost averaging is your winning formula for wealth building. You're setting for getting and letting that, that puppy grow. And if you can actually do that in a Roth somehow, you know, if you're, if you're at a company, can you, you know, try to get a Roth, try to get that Roth if they have it, you know, versus an IRA. Cause you know, IRA, you're going to have to take those uh, minimal um, required deductions and get taxed out the butthole if you make it to 70. You know, there's stuff like that to think about. But any type of money right now, the quick, the, not the quick way, the sure, solid, true way, true way to get the wealth is the S&P 500, index fund, Fidelity has one, FX, AIX, FX, AIX, no transaction fee. Uh, that's what you want. You can go to these other funds that charge a lot of fees. Again, fees are your enemy because they're taking money from you to make you money, but they're still taking money from you when you can just go get the ones like uh, 10% right now and getting 10% a year based on the economy right now. And FXAIX is one, Vanguard has one as two, has one as well. And uh, invest 150 bucks a paycheck or whatever you want to bet more, who cares? Whatever you can, you know, whatever you can uh, handle the pain, uh, reinvest the dividends and then um, keep auto investing, dollar cost average and compound that puppy. You will be doing well in 10 to 15, 20 years. Yep, don't touch it. Do you want to then live off the dividends eventually? Never touch your core investment. Just then, hey, I'm getting all these dividends from all this investment in um, this index fund. Shoot, I'm just going to live off dividends. You know, it depends how much you invest, but that's going to be one of the factors to consider.